Dear friends, good morning on Good Friday. Today we are hearing Jesus' fifth and sixth words that he spoke from the cross, both of which are recorded by John in chapter 19, verses 28 to 30. Later, knowing that all was now completed, and so that the scripture would be fulfilled, Jesus said, I am thirsty. A jar of wine vinegar was there, so they soaked a sponge in it, put the sponge on the stalk of a hyssop plant, and lifted it to Jesus' lips. When he had received the drink, Jesus said, It is finished! With that he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Remarkably, Jesus' cry of thirst is the only time that he complains of his physical suffering on the cross. As Isaiah prophesied about him, as a sheep before her shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth, apart from this one cry of thirst. For what was Jesus thirsting? For water, of course. That's why the soldiers offered him wine vinegar to drink. But his thirst is more than physical. His thirst is for his father, by whom he has been abandoned. He is enduring the cosmic thirst of being God forsaken in hell. If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink, Jesus once said. We can drink and be satisfied only because Jesus thirsted. And our thirst can be slaked only by his dehydration. As we look to Jesus' agony on the cross, we find a water of a river of water welling up within us to eternal life. And all those places where we've sought refreshment turn out to be broken systems that cannot hold water. Our achievements, our families, our relationships, our church, our house, our garden, our possessions, our finances, our holidays, our interests, our Christian disciplines, even our holiness. None of them apart from Jesus can quench our desperate thirst for life-giving water. And maybe at the moment when many of these things have been stripped away from us, we are finding even more deeply that our thirst cannot be quenched apart from Jesus. Like the woman at the well, we cry out, Sir, give me this water, so I won't have to keep on coming here to drink, to draw water. And Jesus will allow us to drink, for we hear his cry once more, It is finished! Meaning that he has drunk the bitter cup of God's wrath against the sins of the world to the very dregs. He has experienced the cosmic thirst of hell. He has paid the price in full, so that we may now sit down and drink, and be satisfied at last. Today is a great day to meditate further on Jesus' death for us. There's a service for Good Friday on the church website based on John's account of the Passion, as well as children and youth sessions. God bless you on this Good Friday.